Hi everyone, today I will explain to you how to import external vectors into LiDAR 360 MLS for viewing and editing, and how to export the results in the database as vectors. Regarding the import of vectors into the software, the software has two places for this operation. The first is in the menu bar, the import vector button on the tool page, just in the vector list. Through the add button, Select and load all the external vectors that need to be imported. Then if the external vector and the point cloud of the current project are not in the same coordinate system, you need to check the coordinate conversion and convert the coordinate system of the vector into the coordinate system of the point cloud, so that it can be displayed normally after importing. Click OK and the external vector will be imported and mounted under the custom vector root node of the directory tree. If the externally imported vector has a different name than the software embedded layer or the established layer, it will be directly mounted under the custom node. If the externally imported vector has the same name as the existing layer in the current project when importing, only the geometry will be automatically imported into the same layer name. Note that only the geometry will be imported, so that when the ve external vector has attribute information, it is recommended to change a name that is different from the layer in the current project and then import it into the software. The above is the first vector import method. The second one is in the directory tree. Right click on the existing layer to import. Because this is equivalent to a certain layer, that I have determined that I want to import. That is, to import the existing layers of the project, it is a one-to-one -one import. However, it should be noted that here that the software distinguishes between point, line, and surface layers. That is, the line layer in the project. Only the geometry of the external line layer can be stored in it, and other types of layers cannot be stored. For example, I select the lane line layer and right-click to import. but I select a surface layer. After importing, the imported layer will be automatically renamed by the software to a custom layer of the time you selected the layer suffix to import. Using this import method, please note, if there is no vector with the same name in the project, then the geometry and attributes of the external vector are imported together. If there is a vector with the same name in the project, the external vector will only be merged with the geometry. Now let's talk about vector exporting. There are also two locations for vector export in the software. One is the export vector button in the tool selection. In the interface, click the vector you want to export. Select a save folder and export it. The selected layers will be saved in this folder after exporting. You can also choose to export in .dxf format. Then right-click on the directory tree, and there is also an export vector button on each layer. After clicking, one-to-one -one export is performed. Of course, at this time, you can choose whether to change the projection. You can directly complete this operation when exporting. Thank you for watching.